All right, let's get into it. Hope everyone is doing well and staying positive. So continuing with this project, the customer decided they wanted part of the patio to be a stamped concrete. In this particular area, they're gonna add a pergola. Even though this is part of the bigger patio, we treat it as a separate pour. We pretty much set it up in the same day and pour it. It's about three and a half yards. Framed it up using Douglas fir 2x4. It took us a couple of hours to do this, but it was critical we get this right so the bigger patio can tie into it as if we did it together. So now it's time for some concrete. And like I said, it's only three, three and a half yards. Again, we decided to pour this separate because when we had to pour the big patio, it just wouldn't be too much chaos. We end up having a delay of two weeks anyway because we couldn't get any concrete in a timely fashion. So it's pretty much a one and a half person job, but we have four people that include myself just to help out. Here we're making sure we have the proper slope. This is our break point for the water. It was critical we get this right because it will tie into the bigger patio later. So the tool we're using here is called a torpedo. And I don't know if that's the official name, it just kind of looks like a torpedo. And what it does, it kind of opens up our lines deep joints, sometimes called expansion joints, sometimes called control joints, and it all depends on what contractor you talk to. So after we use a torpedo, we'll come back and use what they call a grover, and this kind of cleans up the deep joint to make it look nice and pretty. And from there, we just stamp away, we kind of start in one corner and work our way out, as you can see here. The color we use was the original color of concrete which comes in the concrete truck and then we use a, uh, I think it was a light gray or medium gray release. And we use this probably about 80% of the time when we do a stamp concrete and we also use the texture stamp probably about 90% of the time. I think with the texture stamp it just doesn't get dated over time as opposed to some of the other stamps. They do look nice, but this one just can kind of stay relevant throughout the years. All right, so that wraps it up for video number five of this project. Check out the playlist below to see parts one through four. As always, I appreciate you guys' time. Remember, stay positive, hang around positive people. And also remember, it's cool to ask for help. If you're Sacramento, Bay Area, hit us up in the description below. And also, don't forget to check out this playlist.